Live from South Victory, this is WFAA News. We begin today with breaking news. Severe weather causing tremendous damage across North Texas. There was torrential rainfall, but it was the powerful winds that did the worst of the damage, knocking down trees and power lines. And then in the middle of the storm, storm a crane toppled onto a Dallas apartment building, killing a person inside and badly injuring several others. Oh my God, the crane is falling over. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was the moment it happened there. Social media giving us a good look at those moments that the crane collapsed. Sophie Daigle tweeted out that incredible video and Franklin Campbell showed us the first images of the mass destruction inside. Thanks for being with us. I'm Jason Wheeler. HD Chopper 8 has been flying over the Elon City Lights apartments on Live Oak Street near US uh, 75 uh, since that uh, happened earlier today. We know that one person has died. Several more people are hospitalized with serious injuries and a portion of every single level of the parking garage there collapsed after that crane came crashing down into it. David Goins is live at the scene, has been all afternoon long, giving us uh, updates there. What's the latest, David? Yeah, Jason, devastating scene out here and still very much unfolding. You see that Elon City Lights building behind me. I'm going to step off so you can see that crane that fell from uh, west, uh, east to west, uh, right around 2 o'clock. That's where it's been for the last three and a half hours. Still dozens of DFR crews here on scene. We know of those seven injuries, Jason. One does include uh, that death we mentioned off the top of someone who was inside the Elon City Lights building. DFR says two others are critical. Now, what's happening now? This is the scene from uh, HG Chopper 8. There are at least three dog teams uh, from DFR that are designed to find people who are alive who may be trapped inside this building. Now, DFR made a point to say right now it hasn't received any specific reports of anyone missing inside that apartment building, but they are going through every apartment. Now, the view from the ground is just as devastating as so many people have seen pictures from social media. Pictures we've been provided uh, from people who live inside this building show the collapse of that parking garage. One person we spoke to described that crane collapse with a long, deep growl. He said you could hear everything inside the building breaking is what he said it sounded like. Then he went into the parking garage and saw even more. Hanging out of his the back of his window, just struggling. I, me and one of my neighbors was like, yo, we got to get him out of there. Like, he's in a freaking car that's hanging that's about to fall. David Mendoza heard from there. He was able to get his uh, neighbor out of the car. He said he wasn't injured, but was pretty much in shock and really couldn't say a whole lot. Uh, Jason, back out here live, people who uh, live inside the Elon City Lights building uh, were asked to come to the Latino Cultural Center, which is just, just off to uh, my right and kind of the left of the, of the camera. Most people have already checked in to let people know that they're OK, but a lot of people uh, showed up here late this afternoon, weren't inside when this happened, but just want to let people know that they are OK. For context, Jason, there are 498 apartments inside, so the amount of people impacted conservatively would probably be about 1,000 or more. But the most important work for DFR is still continuing as they are going, going through each apartment to make sure no one else may be trapped. Jason. All right. Uh, thanks for the update, David. Uh, just stunning that that can happen to so many people there as they're just inside their apartments on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, our other big story that we're following, of course, not just that one scene near downtown Dallas, but the more extensive trail of weather damage all across North Texas. Watch this crazy video here of the moment that wind blew a billboard right into the cars below. That happened in the uptown area of Dallas. And then there was this. Our Jason Whiteley shared this video. Part of a roof and a section of a door peeled off a Southwest Airlines maintenance hangar at Dallas Love Field this afternoon. Mechanics were working on 730 37s when the severe thunderstorm moved over the airport. They uh, thought quickly here, though. They sought cover in another part of the building and actually got out of that hangar, and uh, that was really good to do because uh, you can see the damage done there. Thankfully, no one hurt there at that scene. All that wind and lightning, though, has caused some big power outages all across our area. Right now, North Texas has nearly 300,000 people, 300,000 customers, I should say, without electricity. That can be multiple 
people in those homes too. Encore says that most of those outages are in Dallas, where at least 250,000 customers don't have electricity, and some of them won't have power back until tomorrow night, we're being told. Collin County has about 24,000 people without power, and there are also outages in Tarrant and Denton counties. Look at the map we're showing you here there. This is uh, from Encore communities all over North Texas dealing with outages right now. We have linked this up uh, this map and a lot of information. It's at WFAA.com. It includes some uh, information on how you can let them know that you have lost your power so that they know that you are one of the ones who need service restored. So if you have cell phone service, you might be able to get some help by looking at that. Now in many spots, the big cleanup is already underway. I'll our Jobin Panicker is in North Dallas, which was one of the places hardest hit. What are you seeing out there, Jobin? Well, you know, people in this neighborhood describe powerful wind, and I'm talking powerful wind for five straight minutes. This is the scene across so many neighborhoods here in North Tech, in, in North Dallas. We're at Meandering Way and Larchview, and I'll tell you, within a two-mile radius from where we are, there is tree damage in just about every neighborhood. Uh, here in North Dallas. Look at what happened th to this home. This large 60 year old maple uh, crashed right down onto the corner of this house. It, 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 it nicked the corner of the home. There's, a, uh, there's an office space up there. Talk to the couple, lovely couple, uh, and uh, they, they are okay. Nobody was hurt, but we're gonna come all the way around so you can we can show you the, sheer, the sheer size of this tree. And clearly it's a very mature tree, very tall, very high. And look at the uh, look at the root. This is what came down about two and a half hours ago, right down, clipped the corner of their house, and uh, they're working to figure out what the next move is here. You know, one thing we've realized: we've seen trees on cars, we've seen tree not, trees on houses, trees on on power lines. The key now is that cleanup it needs to happen soon enough. All right, uh, Jobin, uh, thank you uh, for that. Boy, just tremendous.